I'm Viktor Kamenov, I'm 18 years old from Bulgaria, but uh, at first the, result, the results were not so good for me, so in my first year I started with basics and handstand, a lot of handstand. I, I was doing almost everywhere handstands, I was crazy about that. Why'd you call me there? I thought you always knew I'm not the same old kid You cry how much I grew I've done this by myself I've never got no help And fuck these jealous kids I dash them on the shelf Shoot twice to the fuck niggas Same bitch you wanna fuck niggas Text back to an old friend that she saying how she wanna suck a nigga Shit changed from the time I was a kid In grade 11 18 fuck 5 holes in 2 days Don't know where I'm getting Still screaming yes man to the next man Right hook to a fake fan Left hook to your head man Uppercut the fucking middle man You can't let go man I see your movements, I find this soothing All you boys losing with my We ¿Qué tal chicos? Bienvenidos al canal de nuevo Hoy tenemos a nosotros, con nosotros el placer de tener a Víctor Kamenov eh, que ha quedado ayer segundo del mundo y cual, eh, cual conocéis mucho de varios vídeos entonces lo que voy a hacer es una pequeña entrevista que va a ser en inglés pero bueno, la voy a traducir aquí abajo en español para que lo entendáis un poco What's up Victor? Nice hey, to have bro. you here I just had a little introduction for my people, for the Spanish people and I will translate everything of course into Spanish but we're just gonna talk in English First of all Introduce yourself. And first of all, thank you for the interview. So, I'm Viktor Kamenov. I'm 18 years old from Bulgaria. I've been practicing street workout for five years. Almost five years. Almost five years. Since yeah. the end of uh, 2012. Okay, so, when you started competing, actually, I think this is your first interview, right? Ever. Actually, like this is the first one. Ever. The first one, okay. So, when you started competing, because I think this is your third? World championship? Yeah, it's actually my third world championship in Moscow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I started competing in uh, smaller competitions in Bulgaria in 2013. But uh, at first, the result, the results were not so good for me. But that that was big motivation for me, just to get first in my country. And and then after all, after all, climbing and climbing, you get to this one, right? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask you, like, um, there's an important question to know, like, uh, everyone has uh, his own story of how he knew this sport and why he began. What is your story? Well, it's beca it began all with uh, internet and YouTube. Uh, you know, there are a lot of yeah, yeah. videos, like, the videos of Hannibal for King, for example. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of motivation from them. And again, one more thing, my uncle, who is again practice, practicing calisthenics, he motivated me. Okay, like so yes. you've been training five years, but before what you did? Nothing? Uh, I think nothing. Nothing, <laughs> yeah, just no, started nothing serious, yeah. straight to the to calisthenics. So, um, now like you're really known because your statics, Maltese, plant, your power, everything. But at the beginning, what you were doing? Like, what, what is your first and second years like? Or you started try and plant or like because most of the people like beginners they're like oh I want to become like Victor how he trains what he did you know what I mean mm -hmm. yeah yeah so in my first year I started with basics and handstand a lot of handstand I, I was doing almost everywhere handstands I was crazy about that I wanted to learn every type of handstand every grip so I think that helped me for gaining my shoulder strength and uh, that really helped me for the planche actually mm -hmm. and again the classic basics pull-ups push-ups I Lips, did that in the first yeah. yeah I did that in the first year and then with time you started with the plant when you started with the plant like you just like after doing the handstand 
how, how you said like you were doing handstand and then just tried or what you you first did like this typical tuck planche blah 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 or you just jumped into tuck planche uh, I've been trying but I can say that helped me the tuck planche actually I did but uh, I think the most uh, important thing for me were the leans the planche leans and the handstand that mm -hmm. were the most important so, for me. Uh, like leaning, training, yeah, the leaning, leanings. leaning, yeah, of course, okay. that's the most important. Okay, so um, so a lot of guys they try to live this, uh, let's say it's like static lifestyle, like train a lot of statics, and they get injured like quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, you know, elbows, wrist, shoulders. Did you ha have you ever got like serious injury because of plant? Yeah, I, I've got. Uh, and many. any advice for the people? advice so first any injury Which an injury uh, I think it was around three years ago I had problems with my elbows from what is but overload that was just because I I didn't uh, done any uh, warm-up I just do motis directly no warm-up but now it's just impossible for me I, I always warm up so maybe that's that's the most important thing if you want to have good progression and no injuries, you need to warm up. And the best exercise, the best exercise for warming up is mo mo the Maltese leans or planche leans. You're preparing your body. Yeah, for it. yeah. I'm actually talking only about planches, right? Mm -hmm. But exactly the same for the other elements. Mm -hmm. Warm up before every training. That's yeah. important. I and do you stretch? Stretch, uh, yeah, I do a little bit flexibility before and after uh, the training. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So um, I wanted to know also, like, what is the typical training day of Victor Kavanaugh? Like, I, you know, everyone knows that you train like in an Olympic gym, right? It's, it's an Olympic gym. What do you do? Like, try to split your training, not giving that much, because of <laughs> course everyone has his own secrets. But like for the people yeah. to know how you do, like how you train. Well, the most important thing is to do different things every day. For example, one day I'll do uh, planches and uh, every uh, planche combos, like Maltese to handstand, back to Maltese. Another day I'll do only freestyle. The next day I'll do combos, freestyle plus statics. After that, I will do only holds. So I sh I try never never to do the same things every day, day after day. Mm -hmm. I just try to do different things. So, uh, how much time it takes you for a training normally? For training, around three to four hours per day. Three to four hours per day. Nice. So you warm up like. I don't know how much time it takes you to warm up. Around 15 minutes. 15 minutes, 15 minutes then minutes. you start with uh, touching elements. Touching uh, elements. 15 uh, minutes, uh, a lot of planche leans. After that, I just try to do planche, but with a little hold. Not too much, little. And after that, I go hard. Okay. Uh, uh, controversial question, because a lot of uh, the street workout athletes, they try to avoid this, like, oh, no, no, no. Do you use weights? Weights when you train? Yeah, actually I do. I do in the gym. I usually do special exercises. I, I know because I've, I've seen your videos. Like you sent me some of the yeah, videos, yeah. and but I, I, I pretend that I don't know it. Like um, I've, I've I've been using it. It's like really helpful, and I've seen some gymnasts using mm -hmm. this type of uh, presses with yeah. the show. So actually, actually, I know that exercise from gymnasts uh -huh. who are really strong in in rings. And uh, I'm practicing that from for maybe two years, and I th I think that really helped me. Mm -hmm. So you do you you do the typical like two dumbbells in the hand, yeah. pressing to get a little bit more strength, and it helps you also in the mm -hmm. motivation, right? Yeah. yeah, because a lot of people, um, you know, in this sport, like they like oh I don't do this, I don't do this, just bars, just this, just this, and at the end it's like if you have the opportunity to do it, just do it, if it's gonna help you, right? Yeah. No other type of ways, no bench press, no... No, 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 nothing like this. Just the yeah. old dumbbells, bicep curls? No, no. Nothing? No. Okay. Um, 
By the way, yesterday you became second at the World Championship. Congrats! Thank you, bro. Again, I um, uh, wanted to ask you, like, um, mentally, uh, how did you prepare yourself for this championship? Because I know, like, last year you wanted so bad to get on at least top one, two, and uh, you got. W which was your place last year? It was third place. Third, third place. place. Yeah, but you year. wanted a little bit more. Yeah. I know it. <laughs> Uh, how you prepared yourself mentally for this? Because it took you like three years to get to second place. Mentally, uh, I just try to be uh, calm. Just try to be calm. Maybe that's a secret. Mm -hmm. There is no need to be nervous uh, when you're doing your sets. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's, that's the thing that will help you not to fail. So if you fail in this competition, you lose. And there is no way to get in the top places. Yeah, that's true. Um, also, like, what is the hardest thing for you? Like, everyone has his own weak point that works and works and works to try not to be weak uh, on that point. What What is your, like your weak point? My weak point, I think, maybe freestyle. 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 Yeah. I think it is something really mental at the end. It's so. mental, bro, because I'm really used to statics, and. It's really hard for me to change from statics to dynamics. Uh, you, you know, there are a lot of guys who, who have been doing uh, dynamics in their past and after that they do statics, so it's e easier for them to do. But I was doing like three years uh, the only statics and I, I, I became a rock, like a rock. Mm, yeah, 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 My yeah. shoulders, no flexibility and I can't do all this stuff like um, yeah, yeah, yeah. this okay to 360 and so maybe that's the problem that uh, that's for me, the freestyle. Mm -hmm. And that's what you try to work more, right? Yeah, maybe that's the thing I need to work. Okay, good. Um, also, important, like your change in the way you live right now, because imagine like Victor coming a few years ago or four years ago, um, almost like no one from the city workout scene knew about you then this last two years you've been smashing instagram every day like videos oh victor coming on this page on the other page plants mantis blah 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 how how what what is that for you like uh what it means for you it actually it really motivates me to keep going hard to train hard so thanks a lot to everyone who's who, who are supporting me that means a lot for me so i want you to list your like, your top three championships for example what are your mm. top three championships that you enjoyed more? That I enjoyed more? Mm. Yesterday's competition, yeah. The last year, in 2006, again in Moscow. And I don't know, maybe the first one competition in 2015 mm -hmm. was again in Moscow because it was my, my first time. So I met legends like Eric Ortiz, Vladimir Tukhanov for the first time. So. That was really, really big motivation mm -hmm. for me. That's what the the ones that you most enjoyed. Yes. Okay. And your hardest battle. My Which hardest battle. Were awesome. Definitely. That was awesome. awesome, bro. Okay. Uh, you want, of course, you want the rematch, right? Uh, With La Rosa. Yeah, I think. We need to make it. <laughs> we need to make it. Possible. We will make it. Um. Also, uh, wanna know like top three athletes for you? For me, it's really hard to say, bro. But. For sure, one of them is Eric Ortiz. Eric Ortiz, he's one of the most complete. Yeah, yeah. like a lot of people, uh, because Eric Ortiz been in the shadow, like this the last shadow. Last Maybe year. because he's not competing. Yeah, he's not competing. He's not but competing. he told me yesterday, if the results are good, I'm gonna come back. Mm -hmm. And he. It's happy with the results, so maybe we're gonna have Eric Ortiz back into the competing I game. I hope so. I hope because so. Because it's a big motivation. I think for everyone who's watching and for everyone who's competing, like to miss Eric in a championship is like, oh, is there someone missing here? Like, yeah. imagine it. And Eric Ortiz, he said two more. Daniel Swizons. I don't think I need to say anything about him. It's just crazy. And the new one, Ikwan. Ikwan, yeah. Ikwan. Yeah, he's really strong. Uh, he has freestyle and statics, everything combined. And I really like his style. What is your advice for the people that want to be like you or almost like you? 
I think the main thing is to be patient. So there is no need to start doing Maltese directly for, from the first year. Just start with basics, handstand, after that do the straddle planche, full planche, Maltese. There are progressions, there are steps that need to be done. So be patient, be, be patient. There is no need to rush. Mm -hmm. And also, a um, question. What do you think it made you succeed in this sport? Made me succeed? I think that I'm organized. Organized? Yeah. yeah. The organization. Yeah. Making programs for training. Yeah, that's, that's, that's important. Amazing. That's yeah. important. That's important. And uh, with this program, I just know what to do, when to do it and how to progress in it. Mm -hmm. Because most of the people, uh, throughout my own experience, I don't know, like in other parts of the world, they just come to the park and they like improvise. No. No, that's, that's good. I think that's the stupidest thing. Uh -huh. you, you always need to have in your mind what you want to do, what you want to learn. I mm -hmm. uh, just wanted to quickly say hello to all the Spanish people and English people watching this video. Uh, yeah, just free camera for you. Okay. So, hello guys and all who are supporting me. Thanks a lot for that. That means a lot for me. And uh, good luck in your workouts. That's it. Thank you, fam, for this little Welcome, interview. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you soon in any other championship. You will continue smashing it. Um, for sure. Greetings for you, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Why'd you call me there? I thought you always knew I'm not the same old kid You cry how much I grew I've done this by myself I've never got no help